In this short video, we will provide an in-depth look of how stone strong bridge abutments are constructed and how municipalities across the country are utilizing the stone strong block to create economies in regard to rapid bridge abutment construction. We will visit with Dan DeWitt and Mike McMillan of Allegheny County, who have recently engineered and coordinated Allegheny's first stone strong bridge abutment, as well as giving you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how this recent project in Allegheny County was constructed. Hello, I'm Dan DeWitt, a bridge engineer and project manager with the Allegheny County Department of Public Works in Cumberland, Maryland. Our department's been exploring new ways to speed up bridge construction without sacrificing structural integrity while following AASHTO design methods for bridge rehabilitation and replacement projects. We have found that Stone Strog provides advantages over traditional methods on several fronts in respect to bridge abutment construction. First, it creates an aesthetically pleasing solution. It also allows our in-house roads crew to install the blocks without need for specialized equipment. It lessens overall construction costs and also lessens overall construction time. In this project, it shortened the duration of the road closure by three to four weeks for the traveling public. Hello, I'm John McMillan, bridge supervisor with the Allegheny County Roads Division. We started with keying a concrete footer three foot below the existing stream invert to protect against further scour. From there, we poured a footer with horizontal and vertical reinforcements. Two courses of number five rebar were threaded into the voids of the stone strong block. On the lower course of block, we pre-cut the spaces to allow for drainage at the base of the abutment. As we coursed upward, we vertically tied number five rebar up through the voids of the block, as well as running number five rebar horizontally through the lifting bars recess of the stone strong block. We then poured 4,500 PSI concrete into the voids of the block. We decided with this application to form the bridge seat in the field, incorporating epoxy coated rebar at the top of the embutment. After forming the bridge seats, we used a crane to set pre-stressed concrete beams and finished with an asphalt overlay. 